Hey, it's Matt Pinfield here with Jose Mangan, and we are backstage at Aftershock 2022. And we're here with Tucker, Tim, and Anthony from the band L.S. Dunes. Right. And we're so happy to see you guys. You know, it's great, man. I, I love these guys. It's, you know, we, we've been friends for a long time, and it's pretty amazing because, you know, Tucker and Tim are from Thursday, which is a band that really started, like, in my hometown area of New Brunswick, New Jersey, and that, in that whole area. And Anthony I've known since his early days in Circus Survive, so... It's pretty incredible. Guys, tell us how everything came together. Because Jose and I were talking about it in the car. You're with you're there with Travis Stever, of course, and Cody Cambria, who's a band you know I'm close to, and, and signed to Columbia. And so there's this whole family of people. And then Frank, of course, from Mike Chem. So can you tell me how this came together, Tom? Yeah, I think that um, you know when the pandemic kind of hit, uh, we were all a little worried about providing for our family and what our livelihoods were going to be. So you know, what better way to uh, try to solve that than start another band? Yeah, <laughs> that's amazing. Yeah, and and you know, all all of these guys are my favorite part of each band that they're in. So you know, it was a no-brainer to to actually have them play music with. With, yeah. with each other. Did so. anybody have to try out? <laughs> no. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> no, everybody was a... Uh, no hazing know. process no, for Alice no. Dunes? <laughs> it's like first first choice and, and uh, accept. When you they know? asked me, when Tucker asked me to sing on the songs, I had no idea who was in the band. So I, f I felt like I kind of tried out a little tiny bit. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I naturally have bad mic technique. <laughs> <laughs> the it's, singer, a singer, yeah. it's a singer problem. Yeah. Surprised I'm not all over it like that. <laughs> yeah, cupping it. <laughs> <laughs> but it was one of those things where it, it's a bunch of guys getting together who, who are friends who played together so many times in the past, come across each other. And, you know, these friendships are something that lasted from all those years of, of being in bands. Yeah, it's crazy. And we've all managed to kind of keep in touch, you know, because a lot of, a lot of times when you tour, you, you make very good friends in the beginning because you're on tour together. And then you don't see each other for years because you're all touring in different directions so it's nice to be able to reconnect especially reconnect artistically yeah not only friendship i don't wise. think there's enough super groups in our genre <laughs> yeah. i think there's I, I like when bands and members come together to form new voltrons and stuff <laughs> like that but uh it happens so much in other genres especially in hip-hop but it's starting to trickle down and into the hard rock world more and more i've seen full band collaborations more people doing guest spots and collaborations i think that's just how you know we unite our genre and we come together and provide different opportunities for fans to hear different type of music from their favorite artists for sure and i, I think it also boils down to being inspired by people and being inspired by your friends and, and your friends bands you know and, and trying to create something new out of that do so. you guys have a favorite super group each of you guys what's your favorite oh, super group Oh, man. LS Dunes? Uh, L LS Dunes, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, and who else? There's <laughs> Traveling Wilburys. Yeah. Wait, wait, yeah. The Will yeah. Traveling Wilburys. Maybe? Okay, yeah. Traveling yeah, Wilburys. Yeah. 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 Little Tom Petty. Anything yeah. Tom Petty's in is <laughs> fucking Roy awesome. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. What about you? I don't know that I know I any super think groups. About it. I yeah. don't even know who's a super group. Oh, yeah. man. Yeah. I'll tell you mine down. Yeah, which oh, is I guess down. Yeah. That's a good, that's a good, that's strong choice. That's a strong choice. Yeah. That's, that's Corrosion Conformity, Pantera, right? Yeah, I Hate yeah. God, yeah, that was, a, that was a big, big deal when it, when that happened. But so is this, is this a, Ellis Dunes, I don't, have you guys played shows before? Played one show. Where? <laughs> Riot Fest in Chicago. Okay, cool, so this yeah. is your second show. Second, second show. show. Wow. Nervous? Nah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun. How much, how many, how much like rehearsal did you have to do for these shows? It's a lot of like, uh, it's a lot of like just listening, you know, on your own, kind of like doing like remote <laughs> rehearsal. Everybody's sort of like playing along to the record or playing along to a practice, and then we get together and just fucking see what happens. <laughs> 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 and, Matt, and so you guys must have enough songs to do a set if you're playing here at Aftershock, and then Matt was saying that you guys have an album done. Yeah, it's coming yeah. out yeah. on November 11th, right? November yeah. 11th, yeah. What's it called? Yeah. It's called Past Lives. Which, in an interesting way, we, we, the name Past Lives is great because it's you guys came together from your past lives. Well, some of it's still current lives, too, because obviously your bands are active and you're doing different things. But this is, it's just a very cool thing because you had that friendship yeah, for thank such you. a long time. Tim, Tim threw out a, in the Dropbox a song title called Past Lives, and I think that we just kind of adopted that as the mantra for the record, in a way, for the yeah. title. And then. That was it, Tim. And I love that you were in a Yankee hat, uh, right? Thank you. Yeah, Good. 
How great was Judge, man? 62 <laughs> yeah. home runs. Was yeah, that? we were talking oh. about it yesterday. Yeah, it's crazy. Being, it's you crazy. know, a Jersey guy, you know, you're either kind of – if you're like anywhere from the center of Jersey to the north, you're a Yankee or a Met fan generally. And a little further south, maybe a Philly fan. But it was hey, uh, Yankees yeah. for me as a kid. Matt, I found out that Tim – uh, his kids and my kids, we went to the, they went to the same elementary yeah. school in Bloomfield, yeah, New Jersey. Like, yeah, and I'm like, oh, oh you, you did the talent show. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's so, so cool. cool. Like two, or three, two or three yeah. years, I volunteered to be the uh, coordinator and host of the talent show at the elementary school. That's amazing. And uh, I didn't know I had someone yeah, famous. Yeah, sat down and I was like, oh, <laughs> shit. Yeah, we live in the same neighborhood. Like that is years. So, so cool. So cool. With the first That's thing he amazing. said to me, he's like, hey, aren't you from Bluefield? I'm like, uh, I yeah. mean, yeah. Stalker. I don't know what happened. Yeah. Uh, That's great. And it's funny, dude. At the talent show, though, uh, you know, the kids, they do kid stuff. But there was this one little kid that, I don't know if you were there that year. He played the drums and he played Green Day. And it was the only, like, oh, rock yeah. performance yeah. for the whole two and a half hours. And I was so pumped up about this little kid performing drums. He was like a little kid and he nailed Green Day. And after he came, I was hosting that game. I was like, oh, that was awesome. Look <laughs> at that, you know, kids with instruments. And then a dad from one of the girl dance groups yeah. that was on like before came up to me during the talent show, walked behind the curtain on stage and was cursing me out. <laughs> Holy Yo, shit. He was so pissed that I blew, I was like, Hooraying this kid for playing an instrument, the drums, and doing a rock thing. Give me his name. What's his name? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. But dude, I thought this dude was gonna like want to fight me. I was like, oh my god, this is too much stress. These elementary school talent shows. Yeah, man. You know, you know how sometimes parents can be. I mean, we're all parents. Everyone, you know what I mean? I mean, you know, so. That's incredible, though. What a great story. Yeah, that's cool, man. I like that. You're in Bloomfield now? Where are you, Tucker? Where are you living these days? I'm in Bergen County now. I moved back to New Jersey. Yeah. Uh, I, we had a baby two years ago, so we decided that raising a child in the city was going to be too hard because our families are only an hour away, but yeah. Jersey to New York is an eternity. Yeah, it you know, absolutely is. That commute is an eternity for a <laughs> I for believe a you. I know. I always joke with people. I always said, go. you know, like when I lived in Jersey, I was going to the city to commute. Whether it was a GWB when I lived in Fort Lee or like when I lived in Harrison, that area of Bergen County when I was, uh, well, I would pass sometimes. But if I drove, how long did I tell I said, my friend said to me one day, he goes, don't you understand? It's like trying to get a 10-pound bag of shit in a five-pound <laughs> hole. <laughs> <laughs> so there's, a, hard. there's a whole level of arrangement that yeah. goes into yeah. leaving the house now yes. and, and going into New York City. Yeah. So. Hey, but let's, I, we can all collectively say that we love New Jersey. We do yeah. love New Jersey. And, you know, Sorry, Anthony. You know, oh, you guys don't? Right. We got love I'm, for a, New I'm from York Philadelphia. Too. All right. Yeah. So there you go. Yeah, baby. So, and you know what? You got to give Philly love. That's why I mentioned <laughs> the Phillies, right? right? Because that's I was right. talking about the fact that, you know, like, Depending on where you are in Jersey, that's the thing. But Tucker, what town did you grow up in? I grew up in a small town called White House Station. That's by kind of it's like the Bridgewater Mall. by Flemington. Yeah, by Flemington. Yeah. I went to Hunter and Central High School, which is in Flemington. Yeah, and what about yourself, Tucker? I was down in Middletown. Middletown. Yeah. So, yeah, you were down in HTG land, you yeah. know, where I did radio for so many years, yep. which is unbelievable. But it's great. And you grew up in, in, in Philadelphia, actually, yeah, probably. Outside of Philadelphia. I grew up, I'm a sub, suburbs boy. Yeah. And I always say Philadelphia. Yeah. Just try to sound tough, but I grew up in the suburbs. <laughs> was it like, I grew was up in it, Bucks County. Like Yardley or somewhere like that? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like Southampton. By yeah, no, see, I live in Doylestown now. So I know all those areas, yeah, man. Yeah. Lambertville into New yeah, Hope, you know dude, the whole oh, deal? I love, I love Lambertville. Yeah. It's great. Hey, yeah. When it comes to this for uh, LS Dune shows and stuff, what do you guys have planned next after Aftershock here? <laughs> so we've got a, a tour coming up in November. Um, uh, it's like a, I think it's like 10 or 12 days. And then um, in the new year, we're doing a UK run and hopefully some more, um, possibly Europe. But um, yeah, we're just we're trying to stay busy. I mean, we all have other bands, but we're, we're this is a, a priority for us. It's like you know, hopefully a full-time gig for everyone. So, Well, we're looking forward to seeing you guys here in Sacramento at Aftershock, man. Yes. So, awesome. and thanks for hanging out with us here day three, for being us. our that's first awesome. interview and going to Bloomfield uh, Elementary. Right. Uh, dude, Oak, Oakview. 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 Yeah, Oakview. Shout out to Oakview. I, dude, I love the story, <laughs> yeah. man, about the two of you meeting yeah, each other. Yeah. And that, you know? Uh, it's pretty Jose, cool. Don't man. they realize yeah. they're fucking with Jose Mangan? The guy comes back there behind the curtain. I'm like, I you're do. No, my they, brother. they don't know who in the hell I am, dude. Like, nobody did. Like, I think there was one rock fan in the audience was like, dude, you're from Octane and Liquid Metal. I'm like, what's up, dude? But, I mean, nobody cares. Nobody knows. So it's all good, man. I just, uh, I love, I wanted to support my kids. And I thought being the host of the talent show was, you know, and my daughter was in the talent show. Okay. So right. I just wanted to be, um, I was always her coach and stuff, you know, her, um, 
her dadager. I love that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> when she was a little girl, first starting to sing, she would hold the mic like you were doing it down here. And I was like, no, 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 babe, you got to hold it up here. And I was like, you got to switch hands and you got to move and you got to. And, and she would just sit there like, you're not doing it right. You know, so I, I was hard. I was hard. But now she's an awesome badass. She's here at the festival. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah. So. Isn't that the best? It's yeah. so cool, man. Dude, well, thanks to LS Dudes for hanging out with us here at Aftershock. Cheers, guys. Appreciate your time. And uh, we're looking forward to seeing you guys on set today. Fuck yeah, man. LS Dudes, Aftershock.